What do tongs, car fresheners, and dryer sheets have to do with today's video? I'm gonna show you. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I wanna welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. And I also wanna thank Acorn TV for sponsoring today's video. And yes, you might notice I'm sitting in front of a completely different fireplace than I usually do today. That's because we just finished installing this one in our family room and we've been doing a big family room makeover and I've been highlighting all of that over on my Instagram page. So if you're not following me over there, make sure you do. I'll link it down in the description box below. I am so excited to be transitioning from winter into spring. I hope you guys are too. There's so many different ways to do that from spring cleaning hacks, organization hacks, and even some spring home decor DIYs. All of that is gonna get wrapped up into this video and I have so many amazing ideas to share with you and we're gonna get started right now. And we're gonna be staying on a budget by shopping at Dollar Tree for all of these items. I love all of their cleaning supplies, but for this particular hack, you're gonna to need to grab some regular Blue Dawn dish soap along with some vinegar. You'll find this in the kitchen and cooking section. And also one of these dish wands. But instead of for the kitchen, we're actually gonna be taking this hack into the bathroom. And we're actually gonna make it super easy to clean your bathroom, shower, and bathtub. And all you need to do is squeeze some of that dish soap into the dish wand and also add some vinegar. I did about 50-50, a one-to-one -one ratio here. That wand has a little button you can pop open. A funnel helps with this. Once you have it filled up, you can close up that little button. Make sure to shake it up a little bit to incorporate it all together. And then get your sponge wet and go ahead and go at your bathroom we have porcelain tile and this actually really helps get into those grout lines in the shower and then once you've had a good cleaning and scrubbing you can just take some hot water and rinse it all down Another tip here is to grab a suction cup from Dollar Tree, put that in your shower and you can hang your little wand from that and use it for daily cleaning. Now on to those kitchen tongs. What are we gonna do with these? We are gonna make these into a blind cleaner, or I'm gonna give you some more ideas of how you can use these too. You're also gonna need some microfiber cleaning cloths from Dollar Tree, some rubber bands, and a pair of scissors. We're gonna take our scissors and cut our cloth right down the center. Then you'll go ahead and fold each one of those halves in half again. And we're going to basically just fold these around each one of the tong arms, wrapping it around and then using those rubber bands to keep them in place. You wanna make sure that your cloths are pretty tightly wrapped around there so they will fit easily in between your blinds. And another great tip for this is you can use these for your ceiling fans as well. So I just did a deep clean in our living room after Christmas time. However, I love to do another spring cleaning session before we kind of get all of the springtime things out. However, we had just done our fireplace build and added board and batten to our living room. So we had a lot of sawdust and debris. So these were definitely needing a good cleaning. And here's another great hack. So I'm sure you have seen dryer sheets being used in different ways. And one of those ways is to actually add them or wipe them over your blinds. What this does is it kind of helps prevent that static clean and you'll get less lint and dust collecting on your blinds. You just kind of rub it over both the surfaces, super duper easy and simple, and it'll save you some time dusting your blinds in the future. 
Now, before we move on to some spring organization hack ideas, I want to stop and say thank you to Acor TV for sponsoring today's video. Now, I know I'm working with such a great and amazing brand. Whenever my comment section gets filled with comments like, I love Acorn TV, or with suggestions of shows that they are watching that I should check out too. And I absolutely love hearing that and seeing that. But if you're brand new and have never heard of Acorn TV, it is the largest commercial free British streaming service that offers compelling stories, exclusive premieres and originals that you won't find anywhere else. There's always something new to discover on Acorn TV and it has hundreds of exclusive shows from around the world, including award winning series across genres like mysteries, dramas, comedies, and so much more. Sherry Ealing even left me a comment saying that she loved the Miss Fisher's murder mystery, so I had to check that one out. This is a fun series that is set in the 1920s, and it follows around a glamorous lady detective as she goes about her work with a pistol close at hand, and more often than not, a male admirer even closer. So usually I stream Acorn TV out in the she shed on my Roku, but we recently got a new TV here in the family room and it's a smart TV and you can find it on smart TVs, Apple and Android devices, Amazon Fire TV, Google Comcast and more. And even better yet, it's only $5.99 a month and for commercial free streaming, that is such an amazing deal. But if you're brand new to Acorn TV and want to give it a try, you can get 30 days for free by using my code DAILYDIYER. And make sure that is all lowercase letters as it is case sensitive. With Acorn TV, there's always something new to discover. Try Acorn TV free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and using my code DAILYDIYER. Now let's dive right back into this video and get spring ready with some of these amazing organization hack ideas. And we're gonna do that by grabbing some mason jars from Dollar Tree. I feel like this kind of borders on not only organization, but also a little bit decorative too. Because these come with the gold lids, we're actually going to paint them with some chalk paint and give them more of a springtime look. I love using chalk paint on surfaces like metal and glass because it is much less likely to chip. You can use acrylic paint, but if you're able to, definitely recommend the chalk paint. I get mine from Walmart. It is so inexpensive and it lasts a long time too. So what I ended up doing is just giving these rings and lids three coats of each color of chalk paint. So here's after one coat and then after three coats of paint. And you can see here, I used mine to create some more craft room storage, but you could use these in your kitchen and even your bathroom, wherever you need an extra little touch of spring color. Keeping things organized in my office is pretty high priority for me. And I also am going to show you how to create sort of a portable office using one of these pop-up collapsible bins from Dollar Tree. It has a little cardboard thing in the bottom that you can flip down and that'll keep it open for you. And then you can fill it with things from the Dollar Tree's office section, like their clipboards, they have notebooks, post-it notes, calendars, pens, pencils, all those great kinds of things that you need to have handy when you're doing your work. I fell in love with these dry erase calendars because you can use them week after week, month after month, and just adjust it as you need. And Dollar Tree carries dry erase markers too with the little racers on the end. Love those, grab those, and even found these great post-it note little notebooks. How nice to keep a to-do list or a reminder post-it note handy. Just slide all the things in there that you need. It even kind of pops open a little bit wider if you need to put files in there. I also grabbed a mason jar, put 
put some pens, pencils, scissors in there to keep handy too. And for the front, I'm actually gonna be adding that dry erase board on the front so that I can keep my calendar and schedule right at hand. Dollar Tree even has binder clips to clip your board right on the front there to keep it all organized. I love having the option to work at my desk or if I wanna be comfortable, I can take it into the other room and work in a comfortable chair too. Yep, for this next one, you are going to need a plunger from Dollar Tree, not even kidding you. Uh, you're actually gonna be making a tiered tray using a pizza pan and also a burner cover from Dollar Tree too. This is a DIY that I put in a recent plunger hacks video and I'll link that down below if you missed it. But if you did miss it, I will do a quick rendition of it here for you too because not only is this great for decoration, but it's also great for organization. So I basically just cut down the wooden handle of the plunger to about 10 inches long and then took my chalk paint to my pizza a pan and my burner cover and also that wooden handle to make it all look nice and cohesive. Then we're gonna drill a hole in the very center of the pizza pan and into the burner cover because we're gonna use a screw to screw from the bottom into the handle and then the top down into the top of the handle. It doesn't hurt to drill in some pilot holes into your handle as well. That will make it less likely for your uh, screw to split the wood when you go to attach it all together. I also added a little bit of hot glue in there just to give it a little bit more sturdiness and support. So here is a fun way that you can decorate, of course, with a tiered tray for springtime. But like I said, also, it is great to also use for organization. So think using in your laundry room, in your office, in a kid's bedroom on their desk, or even in the kitchen, like I'm gonna show you here. I have loved having fresh fruit at hand so that we remember to not only eat it and not waste it, but also to eat it. So that way we make sure we're getting enough fruit in our diet. So having it on the counter handy and also it looks so nice and decorative too. Next, we're gonna take the spring planter from Dollar Tree and turn it into a high-end dupe. So I found these gorgeous coffee table bowls at Target and they actually retail for $30, but we're gonna make this for $1.25. What you're gonna need are a heavy duty pair of pliers and also a heat gun. I will make sure to link mine down in the description box below. I love mine. And you'll also need some protective gloves because we are gonna be heating this plastic up. You'll just grab onto the plastic with your pliers and then gently go around the edges with your heat gun set on high high and you'll kind of start feeling the plastic start to soften and bend. You don't want to force it or you will crack the plastic. So very gently, slowly, you'll start seeing that you'll get that scalloped look that we're going for with our target dupe. So I did a couple going in and then I pulled back on the middle of that to get more of a scalloped look. So you can see we're going to do this look all the way around.
The original bowl kind of has a off-white plastery look and I actually have chalk paint that's called plaster and it's kind of an off-white color and it actually gave a very, very close look to the original. So I went around the outside and did two coats and then later once that had completely dried, flipped it over. The other side will look still plasticky and shiny. So we want to take that down and put two coats of chalk paint on the inside too, and then you'll get that whole plaster look. Also make sure you come in with your paint and cover up all of the edges so that those are covered and also smoothed out and you have that seamless look. You can use this for not only organization, but also for decorative purposes like adding remote controls and glasses on your side table or adding a plant and some beads like this for a really pretty decorative look. But I think we did a pretty close knockoff of the $30 Target version. You guys let me know what you think down below. Milk glass always reminds me of springtime, but it's hard to find and it also can be pricey unless you can snag some at the thrift store. I really wanted a set of three bottles to add some tulips to, so I found these bottles at Dollar Tree. They have little toppers on them, but they pop right off. We're not gonna be using those. And I don't know if there is a spray paint shortage or what's going on, but I couldn't find any white regular glossy spray paint. So instead of glossy, I'm using a flat white primer. So it's gonna give it a different look than like regular milk glass, but actually is a really pretty finish. I just went over the bottles with the spray paint, giving them two coats and letting them dry. Now you could also spray these with a glossy clear finish and that'll give them more of that glossy milk glass look. But I was actually really loving the flat finish on these. So I kept them that way, added my faux tulips to the inside and got a instant springy effect. I feel like this is one of the biggest bargains at Dollar Tree right now. You get 12 of these seed starter pots or peat pots in a pack and we're gonna turn them into beautiful spring topiaries. So they have a really pretty kind of burlapy look. We're gonna pair those with some Dollar Tree styrofoam balls. The 1.9 inch fit perfectly in those peat pots. And then you'll need a larger size for the top. I had two different sized ones, so we're gonna, ha we're gonna end up with two different sized topiaries, but that's okay. I think it'll be a nice look. And I'm just hot gluing those smaller sized styrofoam balls into the peat pots. We're gonna be pairing these with some skewers or some dowel rods. I'm gonna cut those down to size, hot glue them into the bottom and also hot glue the top balls onto those skewers. Another one of my favorite Dollar Tree finds during the spring and summer seasons is their green floral moss. It is such a great deal and I love adding it to everything. The green just gives everything a nice pop of natural color. I'm using my hot glue to cover the styrofoam with the moss, creating inexpensive and really beautiful topiaries.
I love having my home smell clean and flowery during springtime too. So this is a cool Dollar Tree hack. You can take these car fresheners and if you don't find a scent that you like at Dollar Tree, definitely check out Walmart too. They have some different scents. They even have Yankee Candle version. So some really pretty scents there, maybe some more springy. And we're gonna take these car fresheners and actually add them to our vents. And the ones at Dollar Tree are kind of cool. They have little dials on the back so you can and kind of have more or less scent depending on what you're wanting. They also come with these little clips that you attach onto the back. And once you put those on your vents, then they won't blow off or pop off. They'll sit right down in there and then continually give your home a pretty smell. And I also have some more Dollar Tree spring cleaning hacks I wanna share with you. This duster is one of my new favorite things ever from Dollar Tree basically because I'm a little bit short, so it helps me kind of reach those higher up places. Great for lighting, especially my chandelier in my she shed office, and even gentle enough to sort of get in there and do all those little crystals and even my little side pendant lights, not just doing the glass, but also the metal and even my shiplap. So I am loving this, grab this for easy spring cleaning. I shared this awesome cleaner, which is actually really awesome and smells like cherry blossoms in my last haul video. So I love that. But another thing you may not know is I love their paper towels too. I've used them for years. They're the select a size kind. So I love that, but they're great quality and great for cleaning your office, your craft station, bathroom, or kitchen. Dollar Tree's brooms come in two pieces now. You'll have to purchase the bottom and also a broom handle or use a broom that you already have. You'll also need to grab some furniture polish. I love this cream lemon scented kind, very springy. And again, love their microfiber towels. This one here is antimicrobial though. So I usually grab that one and we're gonna pair these four things together along with a rubber band again. So I just put my broom together and we're gonna take our micro microfiber cloth cover up the bottom of the broom, add our rubber band over the top of that, and then you can spray your furniture polish on the bottom there and you have an instant baseboard cleaner. So this is especially nice for us as we have handmade baseboards that have routed out detail on them. We also have the board and batten, so we kind of have that space in between and then the trim piece on the bottom. So it can be a lot to clean and the broom system kind of helps you having to not bend over to deep clean into all of those crevices. So again, I'm gonna grab out my dryer sheets again, like we used for the blinds, but we're gonna use them for the baseboards. Find this one though, this is the biggest count I could find. It was even a bonus pack. So there's 55 dryer sheets for only $1.25, a great deal. And you just rub your dryer sheet all over your baseboards to help repel that dirt and dust. I kind of discovered this on accident as I had a little bit of dust on the floor. So I took my broom with my microfiber cloth wrapped on there and actually used it to sweep up. So this was kind of a nice way to dust the floors and the microfiber cloth helps grab and pick up a lot of that dirt and dust too. So it kind of saves you having to use a dustpan. So I would love to hear down in the comments below what you enjoy most. Is it the organization hacks, cleaning hacks, or the spring and seasonal DIYs? Also, please take a second, hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our DIY family. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.